Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal right, video. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the performance of the AGL Captain Ginyu at 55% in the Cell Max event. Now, Captain Ginyu is a very, very strong unit. Uh, a lot of people love him because of how good he is in the uh, red zones. He's obviously very strong, he stacks super duper quickly. His team is incredibly good, but Ginyu suffers from the terrible affliction of being an AGL unit, which means he is terrible for the Cell Max event. Uh, not terrible. Uh, Rainbow Ginyu definitely could do very, very well. Uh, you know, Ginyu does have a really, really good kit. You know, he's got that um, like stacking in his first form. He has that support that he does. He's got the attacks effective against all categories. You've got the heal and the transformation as well. The big issue with Ginyu is, so a lot of the times, even in red zone, he stacks fast enough that he can get really high defense. And then when you transform, you end up having a unit that's got 800k defense and will fire multiple super attacks and eventually get 50% evasion. The bigger issue here in Cell Max event is that he doesn't necessarily have the time to truly build up that much. Um, the first two phases, as people know, with the Cell Max event are notoriously fast. They're notoriously quick. They're notoriously, you know, super, super short. Uh, and they're not even comparably difficult to the other, you know, I want to say the other, like, stage you know the final stage it's definitely much much harder so the problem is is you know in theory you know you really want to try him out and you really want to see how good he is the problem is is ultimately at the end of the day he's just really not that great uh in this event you know he does uh tend to struggle a little bit with the event uh because of his type disadvantage like you're going to see uh no matter how well we let him stack he will suffer and even if you transform him Transforming him is actually going to reduce his defense, and he doesn't have base evasion until he fires at least one super attack. Which means generally you want to always keep him in the second slot on the Cell Max event. The problem is, is there's very few units that can first slot tank in the Cell Max event. Uh, one of them is a Gildo and Raccoon. Now I'm not going to put Gildo and Raccoon in the first slot, just because I want to see Captain Ginyu take some damage. But generally speaking, uh, his team is actually still pretty good for the Cell Max event. You will require some luck though. You're going to need probably a Rainbow Captain Ginyu or a Captain Ginyu with dupes. You are going to probably need him uh, to get as many stacks as possible. What this means is you actually want to avoid getting super attacks with other units. So any unit that doesn't need to stack does not need to fire a super attack. So what that means is, you know, like Jace. Raccoon, the other Captain Ginyu, they don't need to fire super attacks. The problem is, especially with the Captain Ginyu team, the synergy is insane. So they probably will fire super attacks. But with that being said, um, I think for the most part, you 100% know, you can get somewhat invested in using Captain Ginyu. You're just going to require a lot of luck. And you're going to require some dupes in those banner units. Ginyu is very fortunate in that the Jason Berta and the Rakuman Gildo are probably two of the best units for the Cell Max event. Uh, Rakuman Gildo, especially with dupes in them, naturally can tank Cell Max very, very well. Uh, and at Rainbow and fully link leveled, can actually eat his super attack without soaking in too much damage. And then the Jason Berta, well, they have 50% evasion. So it is a bit of a gamble, but with type advantage over 400k defense, the support they bring, and of course, as aforementioned, the evasion, they can also be a decent front slot option. Yes, it will require some luck, but you can definitely do it. And what that means is ultimately at the end of the day, you definitely can beat the Cell Max event. Uh, you 100% can beat it with Captain Ginyu, but like I said, it's going to require possibly a dupe and for you to really hope that he gets lucky with his super attacks. You want him to really, 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 he needs to be at around the 400, 500k mark just before you even like consider him stacking even further. 
Because even at 300k, Ginyu will take almost 400k on a super attack. You, uh, sorry, on a on a normal attack. And you're going to see that now, uh, obviously, with Ginyu entering into the next phase. So it is, I would say, it definitely is something that you do want to keep in mind when you are using Ginyu. It, it requires great precision and a lot of luck to get the run that will see you win with Ginyu. And it's just because of his time disadvantage. It's got nothing to do against Ginyu as a unit. It's just AGL units, especially when they don't have baseline evasion and damage reduction, just get hit so hard uh, by the Cell Max. He just hits so, so, so hard as a unit. And it, it is difficult for them to really keep up. You know, it is difficult for them to really kind of have like a good presence so it's not against Ginyu uh, generally speaking I think he's very very good it's just it is tough it is incredibly tough for Captain Ginyu in this event but it's always interesting to see how he does especially at 55% I think it's a good review mine is at level 10 links as well so that's kind of like as good as it gets uh, at least in general so yeah but we're gonna see how well he does here He's got a lot of support on the rotation, and you can see 309k. But that's the thing, you're like, okay, so a Rainbow Ginyu probably survives those, but then you're left with such a little health afterwards. Um, now, if he can sit in the second slot and get some super attacks off, he will stack very quickly. So you could easily knock that down quite a bit. But overall, yeah, you can do it, but yeah, it's tough. But that's it for me. Bye.